there's a time traveler. I she, she refused to give her last name because she's afraid that um, she might get attacked. Uh, but she gave us her first name. Her name's Mary. Um, and when she was 18 years old uh, in college, she got a job working for Professor Paul uh, Marteau. She worked for him for two years before stealing his his keys to go to the back office where she discovered his time machine. Oh, yeah. He caught her looking at the time machine. Killed her. to keep her quiet, he offered her a job as his assistant time traveler. Oh, you got to take that. So, yeah, you, of course you got to take that job. You're offered uh-huh. that job. So for a year, she helped um, she helped uh, military personnel and scientists travel through time. She was the one that would, you know, press the button and send them. <clears throat> After a year, though, he let her travel through time on, her, on a mission. And they were actually going to the furthest time they'd ever gone to. Uh, previously, they, they usually went to the year uh, um, 2,900. And it's like a paradise. Everything's perfect. The world's amazing. There's aliens. We've got a great relationship with the aliens. Everything's peaceful. Awesome. Of course. Yeah, that's coming. They, they decided to travel to the furthest time they'd ever uh, done with her, or done at the time, which was the year 3,500. And sadly, most of the planet had been just wiped out by aliens. It was oh. a huge war between uh, us and, the, and aliens from the Andromeda Galaxy. And uh, because they were uh, under attack, she actually got trapped in the year 3,500 for a whole year. She joined the resistance, uh, resistance humans fighting off, uh, fighting against the aliens. Which everybody knows is futile. Yeah, uh, because they ended up capturing her and torturing her. Uh, and in her torture, everyone else in her team got wiped out, but she was kept alive. She was tortured, and then she just woke up in her bed uh, back in her back in her original time, Damn. Which is 2019. If she had been missing for about three months, she just popped back up. Pack, popped back up, um, and she started having uh, health issues and realized that she was pregnant. Wow, she was pregnant. She went to the future. Aliens uh, captured her, tortured her, sent her back to the present. Wait, wait. So it's about to be 2021. So she had her baby. She had. She's already had her baby. Yeah. Is it an alien? It's a half alien, half human baby. I haven't seen pictures of it because she's in hiding currently. Should be the next guest on the show. Please Definitely. get in contact with yeah. us at jtopodcast@gmail.com. Please put your baby on our show. We need to talk to it desperately. She's got a half human, half alien baby from the future. Fascinating. Right? But even more fascinating is I once met a professor, stumbled upon his time machine. I went back in time. Yeah. Not just with my clock, but I've gone back in time. And uh, I'll show you if you want more evidence. I can not stop showing evidence. I would love to see some evidence. Uh, You've seen so much evidence already. But okay. All right. If it's not enough for you. Uh, I went back into... The uh, the seventies. I saw a guy walking a dog, and I cut off his dick. What the fuck? Why would you yeah, cut oh, it right off? Hot dog. Okay. That's no, it's his dick. It's a hot dog. But there's a little blood there. Oh my god! Is that my blood That's or your it? blood? You've just been breaking a bunch of glass. <laughs> well, it's still a fresh dick. <laughs> <laughs> it's clearly a hot dog, oh and that doesn't prove that you time traveled. It just proves that you have a hot dog. That's what you would do with a time machine. You'd go back and cut people's penises off. Yeah, I mean, what would you do? I mean, what else are you going to do with a time machine? Go back and kill Hitler, invest money, something like that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold this. I'm not Hold holding, this. I'm not holding it. Just hold it. Not. Ah. Uh, I actually did. I know, it's not a real penis, go, but still a wet dog. But I, I went back in time, and I did. I cut off Hitler's penis. Why, why is it so small? He was angry. Did you kill Hitler? Yeah, just, just cut, cut off his penis? penis, yeah. What year did you go to? I think I made the war worse, actually. What... He got a lot angrier. What year did you go back and cut his pants off? Here, hold that. Uh, I also went into the future. Check this out. Is this all penises? Oh my Everybody's God. got a huge dick <laughs> in the future. <laughs> a big alien dick where society's peaceful. And this will get you pregnant. This is a what, potent one. What year did you go to in the future? Uh, 3,000 something. I don't remember. Okay. So every, everyone there has a penis that big or bigger. Yeah. Okay, that's just okay. It all works out, guys. We just got to get through this uh, next year. I want to go through this story really quick. July 1954, when a smartly dressed man was a mysterious passenger from a country called Torrid. The mystery man claimed that it was his third time visiting Japan, but they couldn't find Torrid on any map. So they took him in the back. They said, hey, show us on the map where Torrid is. He pointed to the principality of Andorra. Andorra is at the border of France and Spain. The man said that his country has been in existence for a thousand years. 
and was a little puzzled why it was called Andorra. He said he was going to a hotel, but the hotel didn't exist. Yeah. His country didn't exist. He had a passport. On the passport, it showed from Torrid yeah. and other places that didn't exist that he's been. And it looked like a legit passport. So they confiscated the, the document. They locked him in a hotel with two armed guards. And then when they went to pull him out, after, you know, some time, he was gone. Disappeared. Clothes and everything out of the room. And then... To make things even more confusing, the documents they confiscated disappeared. So you think that this guy time traveled and then got arrested and then disappeared from existence? No, I think he got, I think it was a time glitch and he went back through the multiverse to his many worlds. And all of his stuff went with him. Everything. Everything that didn't belong there. I think it was a glitch in the Matrix. A <laughs> glitch in the Matrix. Yeah. You're telling me you don't believe? What do you know about Torrid? Yeah, so I've got a story here uh, about Billy uh, Mayer and the Plagerans. I probably didn't say any of that correctly except for Billy and V. Uh, but so Billy was kidnapped by uh, an alien race called the uh, Plagerans, or so he says. And he was taken uh, on a journey through time. First thing they visited was dinosaurs. He got to see dinosaurs. I uh, got to see early man uh, millions of years later. And then he also got to visit ancient Mars where there was a civilization there. And he got to meet, if I say this right, uh, Gen- Genuel, uh, who turns out to be the real life Jesus. He was living on Mars originally and then he came to Earth. Duh. Like, According wait, to you this don't, guy. You don't know that? I didn't know about that. Everybody uh, knows that. Yeah. So he, he actually did have a bunch of evidence um, that he then. Um, presented, and it turned out to just be a collage of old pictures from books, TV shows, and garbage that he glued to a board. <laughs> Sounds like our show. <laughs> so, you know, maybe maybe he's lying, maybe he's crazy, maybe so much time travel drives you nuts, and you make weird collages. Okay, first of all, bored with this story already. Let's move on. Everybody right, knows. Everybody knows is Jesus. Jesus is from Mars. Duh. Clearly. Anyway.